no, I think yeah. you've gone to okay. So, um, so Francis's first film, um, A Girl Like You. Uh, I don't know whether you've seen it. I highly recommend it. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's it's about and these they are so fine. The great topics. That it's a and they met these these folks. So it they it's this couple, and he wants a transition to a girl. And he's in a band. Oh, I've seen this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry to uh, Matt Lully. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and <laughs> That actor was great, still, that dude, whatever the camera No, 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 this is, this is a doco. Oh, it's a doco. Okay, man, okay. I haven't seen it. No, yeah. and his girlfriend wants to stay with him, her. Yeah. So as, as he becomes her, yeah. um, and excuse me, everybody, um, but so he is transitioning while he... He becomes she, they, yeah. Yeah. and she remains she and still loves her partner. Yeah. And the first iteration of that, and I am answering your question. I forgot the my question. The first iteration of that was they got it up as a five-part thing on the net. Okay. So five, yeah. ten, five that's 10 minutes. Yeah. That was the first glimmer yeah. of that. And then as they shot, it's a gorgeous story. It's a gorgeous love story. Mm. It's as they got there, more people saw it and then the ABC said, we want a 50-minute version of this. Okay. And then <laughs> yeah. Film Australia, I might be mixing it up, went, we want a feature film. Yeah. And those pots of money and those avenues to different people got the film made. Mm, that makes so much more sense in 2023, doesn't it? Exactly. Build, so that's, the, that's, that's yeah. the question I'm answering, you know, this Mount Druitt thing yeah. is how their feature film started. Yeah, build audience first, build your tribe, and then from there go backwards. Prove, so that's your, you're proving the concept before. Yeah, you're proving the concept to the yeah. big Big folk as well. Yeah, because that's the bit about filmmaking that's always tough because you want to, like, you need to sell your film. You need to talk it up because if you don't know who else is. and But for me it's always felt like, to use a, a metaphor or an axiom or something, like if you, um, you're selling the picture on a puzzle box and you're telling everybody what the puzzle box is going to look like, the picture on the front, but then you've got to make the pieces <laughs> to make the puzzle and bloody hope that that puzzle works out to be what the picture on the box is. And that, that, that is one of the things that shits me as an old man not wanting to play anymore, that once upon a time I could write the story and do an elevator pitch yeah, and then you give me some money to write the story to show you where now everybody's asked, it, no, but where's... Where's the short? Where's the teaser? Teaser? Yeah. Where's the thing? Where's your oh, market now, now, attachment? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, 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 it's like you're you're swallowing all of that stuff. You're yeah. making stuff for nothing all the time now. Yeah. It's yeah. like, oh no, I don't understand what you mean. Yeah. Oh, you're kidding me. I I um, I, I wanted to bring it up because it was a really good gig gig out at um, the Screen Academy. Um, I um, worked as a script producer for um, their uh, master students for a few years. And one of the clients was, um, was um, Constable, Constable whatever, they're the, they're the, peop- the outreach people who make all the stuff. Mm-hmm. And um, Constable Care, sorry. Oh, <laughs> it just I, wrong. I was going to say that as a joke. <laughs> no, 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 it was Constable <laughs> Care are really, like, clever. They're yeah. making stuff for high school kids. They're making stuff for primary school yeah. kids. They, oh, yeah, and they do scripts and they perform and then they get yeah. the kids to figure out who's bullying who and et cetera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I guess well, yeah. they do a whole co- lot of film stuff. Yeah. And they came to them and said, and therefore to me, yeah. and said there's this um, game in Britain called Take the Knife. Mm. And you step through these decisions, take the knife, don't take the knife, because they were trying to change the culture in Britain, which they did for a while about people stabbing each other. Yeah, they love it. Um, Headbutting and stabbing, that's yeah. their two favourite things. Yeah. And and they brought in all these rules and that so so we based have a drink, don't have a drink for schools here. And then it was um for indigenous kids, 
drive a stolen car, don't try to like get out of the car yeah, or yeah. stay in the car. Like, yeah. and we stepped through all these, and then, and and it was a way. So I guess I am coming at what you're saying because because if you free yourself up, you go okay. I'm storytelling in a multi-dimensional world now. Yeah. It's still storytelling. It's still got to be motivated. It's still going to be actors. You make that choice, we go over here and make it real. We go over here, we make it real. And then the last two I made before the work became way too much for the money, but the last thing was we're going to shoot it in a 360-degree camera. Oh, yeah. And it's going to be a computer game. Oh, yeah. And we decide to make it a thriller that there's someone might be in the room going to kill you while you're doing these things because it was about <laughs> it was about um, computer safety for fourteen year old girls. Yeah. So, oh, what fun! Like you know, like what fun! Like yeah. we kind of, and they're all available. By the way, you can see them. You can go to Constable Care and look at all these shows. They were made one year after the other. Yeah. They're pushing the envelope of storytelling. They're in a storytelling world. Yeah. And it's just that opportunity and it's like it's just was made out of, out of a uni. Something happened in March and it's seismic. I think it's still not people aren't understanding how big it is, but uh, AI dropped. And and as a writer, because that's almost the, f- in some ways the first thing to go. <laughs> it looks seems like writers and artists, you know, because yeah. um, you got ChatGPT and you got Midjourney. How did you feel when you realised what that could do? I'm assuming you had to play with it, and you went, "Oh shit!" Or like, what happened? Uh, I didn't. T- I, don't, I don't care. Yeah, it's not. I don't believe in it. <laughs> I serious. Um, um, students, students cheat all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Some. Yeah. And you're only cheating yourself, but no, you are. Yeah. Can you <laughs> like, spot it? Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. you can most, but I, what I can't, what I've never been able to spot is if you pay someone to write your paper for you. Yeah. It's original. Yeah. As, but, but as long as you go, I'm a, I'm a really dumb bastard. Can you write me an A paper? Yeah. Yeah. I can spot it. Yeah. You don't know any of the words in your essay. Dude, <laughs> yeah. Of course, I can spot it, and I can f- spot syntax. Yeah, a lot, and I, I can't, I can actually spot it. I, 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 so I was spotting it on the Yes campaign. Yeah. When people, oh yeah, when, right. when the robots started to engage you, <laughs> and you would go, "Hang on, what's your name?" Yeah. And they go, "Oh, names are so s." Are you going? What the? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like. You're going, you're going, you're not actually answering my uh, question. I, I had a Facebook <laughs> one trying to buy a fucking car off me, yeah. you know, and I'm like, wait, this isn't a, this this isn't a, a You person. just gave me the same response by mistake. Yeah, like. <laughs> yeah. it's like you can tell. Yeah, yeah. Like you can tell and you can, yeah. in the same way as you can tell when someone says I'm stuck in New Zealand on an oil rig, would you send your caravan that you're selling up to? Yeah. yeah it's like. Yeah, but I mean, do you, did you think like in ten years, if this is going the way of Skynet sort of stuff, that this is going to just build upon itself? No, we, because uh, is the art form gone? I no, keep people going no, to care. The, no, because you you watch an episode of is it Breakfast Wars? Have you watched Breakfast Wars? No. Fuck, man, that writing is good. What's it on? It's on Apple. Okay, yeah, no. it is so good. People are vis. Did you write? Did you watch Succession? Yeah, it's in succession, so, yeah. You, you you see a scene in a succession, like when she's breaking up with her husband in yeah. the last episode, or the second last episode on the balcony, and you feel someone, a knife tearing yeah. into your guts yeah, yeah. And, you're, and you're going, oh, my fucking God. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm sorry, an AI is not going to choose that path. Mm. It's not going to choose that path. It might be able to make... Um, what's the Korean one where they all had to go through that horrible? Yeah, uh, Squid Game. Squid Game. Squid yeah. Game is good, and that could have been written by AI. Yeah, I reckon that could have been written by AI. Yeah, but not those shows that we we look for because it's too. Humans are too fucked up. They don't <laughs> do the logical <laughs> thing. No, God bless us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just like you just go. Like you just think of your life, you go, oh, man, 
I was 30, I was with this really great girl and I left her. Why the fuck did I do that? Yeah. Like I just listened to Leonard Cohen one afternoon and I went, no, I'm out of here. Like, <laughs> and then you just go, okay, what yeah. the hell happened? And yeah. I did it all. Yeah. No, and in all kinds of ways. Yeah. I just, I don't, I don't think it all, I, I, look, they're already doing news stories. Yeah. And like you can spot them, and they're not—they're not the news stories that Catherine Murphy is going to write, or that they are genuinely great journalists that spin that tell you the truth about something. Yeah, there's genuine. There, I just read a long form article, and I want to get into that. I just read a long form article in the Guardian that was all the background of the Israel-Palestine war, and it went back. It went back. To 1948, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going, that's not the stuff that an AI is going to pick because that's not, first of all, they're going to have algorithms that tend them one way or the other. This is a really complicated story and mm. it's a really complicated situation. And, and, I'd, and the details that that person selected, I, I think there's so many... I use journalism because if it's not if journalism is easier to fake <laughs> than drama. I, I just I'm not scared. <laughs> this is what I'm scared of. I think that um, I think that I watch what kids, my friends' kids, are watching on YouTube, and it's utter shit. Like I'm yeah. talking, like there's yeah. a family of Mormons from Utah that just live their life every day, and and they put out you know, 50 episodes of a, a year or something and kids are just obsessed with it. And I'm wondering if the kids aren't going to give a shit if AI wrote it and it's shit or they're just hypnotized because, you know, you try to explain to these kids that as a little kid, eight years old, I'd take the dog down to the video store. I'd pour all over the movies. I'd get the five weekies for five bucks and it'd take me three hours to choose those five, you know, and it really mattered when I was watching them. And uh, that experience is there, and you tell a kid the magic of it, and they can't relate, and they don't get it, and they don't. And I'm so like, don't you care that it, you know this was so much soul into this movie to make it? And and I don't think I don't, I'm worried they're not going to care because they're just it's going to be so much of it. Look, I think you should be worried, but mm. I went through the same thing with my kids. Going, I'm going to explain to you that you're four years old and what a commercial is. Yeah. Yeah, true. That's going to explain. Yeah. They they want you to buy a Barbie doll. Yeah. Okay? And it does look good. Here's why we're not going to buy a Barbie doll. We might buy one one day, but I want to explain to you. Yeah. And see this ad? I want to explain to you that it's an ad. Yeah. And I just think you have to teach. We all have to teach everybody. My, You know, my big bugbear is I'm... I'm just confronted with people with phones in their faces mm. all the time, all the including time. at uni. And it's like yeah. you're addicted to this and you need to switch. It's like that thing I was talking about, read a book. It's like yeah. if you read a book, you'll be one of the ones who yeah. makes a career. Yeah. And if you don't, if you're a sheep, <laughs> you yeah. won't. So, or, or just don't have the grit and resilience it yeah. takes to be fit to, but, yeah. But also other pe- everybody is yeah, people are people get it. People are switching off. People, are, I think, people are searching for something. You know, the Frio Doco. I, I don't know. Did you see the Frio Doco? I guess that's why I'm here. <laughs> I always thought that's why I was here. Yeah, yeah, for ship to shore, buddy. If that's the <laughs> uh, okay, no, that's fine. <laughs> I actually had hair then. <laughs> um, so I made. We made. I was paid zero. <laughs> um, the. Um, High Street yeah. squats. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Down in Lich Highway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we knew someone who knew someone who lived in the squats. Yeah. And they said, they're going to demolish them soon. It's really going to happen. Oh, this is at lunch. And we went, we should just kind of go down there with a camera <laughs> and go, what the hell are you guys doing <laughs> here? Sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we had to go through all this kind of vetting process yeah. because Simon Pettifree it, it, um, was one of Perth's biggest activists. Mm. And so we had to kind of 
get to there and, and, and gain some trust. And we went inside and we went, oh, it's all these people in here just leaving, leading really good lives yeah. and they're living on. 